Hello, welcome to my presentation um, titled The Crazed Characteristics of the Environment Lead to a Changed World as We Speak. As the years have come by, we as a society have seen more and more destruction, which is changing not only us, but also the things around us. Resilience has had to grow on people in order to fight back from things like oppression and natural environmental events. Adaptations have had to occur within plant and animal chains from constructions and the upcoming of urban environments. Our building of community has had to emerge from all the negative outcomes of events which lead us to fight off our cause. All these factors led me to my thesis statement, which is the negative effects of environmental events such as earthquakes, constructions and urban ecosystems and imprisonments all lead to adaptation, resilience, and ability to community. Adaptation and the evolution of plants to compete in a not so friendly urban environment is truly remarkable, and these adaptations need to keep happening for these plant species to stay alive. For plants, especially, they need to adapt to this different environment and embrace the features that are a part of it. According to San Francisco, according to San Francisco psychiatrist H. Eric Bender, MD, quote, in cities, naturally regenerating plant populations are critical sustaining both ecological function and ecosystem services. However, scientists have a limited understanding of the urban ecosystem conditions and stressors that influence basic life history processes and constraints for plant populations. Here, Bender stresses how important it is for plants to be able to adapt to their new environments. While plants have had to constantly adapt, animals have also had to. According to P.W. Bateman and P.A. Friendly from the Journal of Zoology, medium-sized carnivores such as the red fox, coyote, Eurasian badger, and raccoon not only survive in cities, but also manage to exploit anthropogenic food sources and shelter to their significant advantage, achieving a higher population than cities that are found in under natural conditions. Nelson Mandela was the epitome of showing resilience when faced with adversity and controversy. While spending his time in prison, Mandela reflected on many of his actions and came to also many insightful uh, conclusions. Resilience, highlighted by Mandela and his fellow inmates, led them to not view prison as a lockdown fortress with no way out, but rather as a place to come together and to grow as human beings and to grow. A quote from Nelson Mandela's book titled, A Long Walk to Freedom, states that, quote, whatever we know, whatever we learned, we share. And by sharing, we multiplied our, our courage individually. He had multiplied whatever courage we had individually. The friendships held by Mandela and his inmates led them to become better individuals. A final quote from Mandela says that, quote, we support each other and we gain strength from each other. The main point that sticks out is that they gain strength from each other which is something that a lot of people don't do while they're in prison. Prison inmates are always portrayed to be terrible people who pick fights. Or rather, Mandela was a prisoner who was uh, the embodiment of resilience and care. And care. Mm -hmm. The natural disaster in Haiti shook the nation and its people for good after the catastrophic 7.0 magnitude earthquake um, where reportedly 2,200 people were killed. 2,200, 220,000 people were killed. After, many people saw Haiti's response to this and were really shocked. Itele J. Rahil, from um, associate professor at the University of South Florida and his crew that consisted of N. Emil Ganapati, Manisha Joshi, Brindy Bristol, Amanda Mole, Ariel Jean-Pierre, Ariel Dion, and Michelle Benavides, all start by writing that quote, Characteristics of resilience were further evident among the participants. For example, we observed many community members who were creating beautiful works of art from the rubble under which the remains of their loved ones decayed. Others painted exquisite scenery of people in the earthquake. The courage to stand up to the problem at hand shows massive resilience and beauty from the Haitian people. Secondly, the Haitian community showed a great deal of faith many months after the earthquake. Rahil wrote that, during that time, 
members of communities had expressed a great deal of faith in God and had stressed the importance of faith and spirituality and their ability to, to continue to live day by day. They attributed the cause of the earthquake to their sins and described their survival directly to their faith in God or in God's ability to deliver a higher purpose. Their faith had a big part to do with the community and how they came together to combat this earthquake. With the help of God, they could achieve anything, even peace in times of chaos. Overall, adaptations, resilience, and the building of community were the three main topics covered and were highlighted with multiple examples of each. With plants and animals adapting to these different environments and negates the idea of extinction for their species. With humans having resilience, it is leading them better leaders to people who know to adapt to abnormal situations. <clears throat> Lastly, with people coming together to build a community of trust and bravery, we are looking to do better as a whole. To sum everything up, adaptations, resilience, and a building of community all lead to the world becoming a better place. Okay, you're at 620, so you have a little bit of time to work with. Okay. Your presentation is very informative, but I'm finding it hard to find your central argument. And by that